Coming up right now, a Swiss city says the war on drugs has failed. More on the controversial drug they plan to legalize. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> also coming up, a lot of winner goes through millions of dollars in just a few years. So we will debate the age-old question, can money truly buy happiness? A little bit later on, we're going to find out the real reason why some flight attendants are actually airing their grievances as they justify stealing those first-class snacks. Ooh, really? Yeah. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. I am Mitch English, welcoming you to Daily Flash. Uh, we are so happy to have yes. you around here. We're going to be talking to Gator a little bit later on uh, in th this hour. And, and if you need those little um, honeydew lists around the house, yes. he's got some great little hacks. Oh, that he's you be terrific. Yeah, Millions he of views on social media. Yeah, so we really yeah. need to be able and to And Steve it Helling will be joining oh, us right. to talk about the uh, Oscars that are coming up. So we got yeah. good stuff there. Now, this is a big week here at Daily Flash. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Jackson, we, we would love to, we always love having you at the party, but it's a bachelor mm -hmm. party for our boy, <gasps> Maddie, this is week. Matt, how's the wedding really? planning going, man? You ever just feel like screaming into a void and then throwing money at it and lighting yeah. it all on fire? Uh, yes. <laughs> Welcome to marriage. It's about yes. where I'm at with this. <laughs> all right. I just wanted to pick the Ve the Elvis in Vegas, but no, we got to have a pretty party. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and it gets even, not say worse, but uh, even more compressed as you get closer to uh, So the bachelor party is bachelor this, party is and this where weekend. where is the bachelor party? Can you disclose the location? I don't think, uh, well, do we want to? We're going uh, downtown. I know that. Yeah, yeah Top Golf and the, okay. we're going we're gonna to gonna do gonna, a, if, if you a hear tour. of like a, a riot going on in International Drive in that's Orlando and the tourist okay. district for everybody else out there, that's what it is. Do I need to come and, and pick you guys up oh, at some we, point? We, we are going to need you to reserve some money for bail. Okay. That's the only thing we have. We're going to have a cop with us, so we're okay. good. Okay. We do, that's right. We do. <laughs> talk our way out of it. All right, very good. Let's uh, really quickly we'll, uh, talk about what's happening in the world today and other things. Have you heard about the, you, you know Build-A-Bear, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So apparently for Valentine's Day, they're doing an adult version of Build-A-Bear. Oh, and, okay. you know, it's <laughs> nightgowns and teddies oh, and lingerie and it's not setting well with a lot of people okay. because Build-A-Bear you think of as a children's toy right? Absolutely. Well yeah you go in basically if you haven't seen this you pick out what you want the bear mm -hmm. to wear and what the bear to look like all right. So now the adult version you can only imagine what you're able to dress your bear up for for <laughs> Valentine's Day and it's the adult version of Build-A-Bear. Okay and let's well well, at least they have clothes on, I guess, right? I, well, I suppose so. Yeah, I would hope. That's the ones you get. Because the naked bear is just, uh, you know, naked. It's just naked, yeah. Well, yeah. Win, well Winnie the Pooh's yeah. been getting around for a long That's time without, without With just the shorts. So, and, can you yeah. add attachments to it or anything? <laughs> I, is that, is that part of when you put all the stuff together? Or I, you don't add, I hope not. I don't think that, I don't I mean, they think got they've that gone that far. They got yet. that stuffing machine, so That's I mean, true. maybe that, oh, you know. All right, interesting. If you get a Build-A-Bear, you'll know now. That they came for me. All right, we go now out of that conversation to Switzerland, where the capital there is actually considering a pilot program to test the legal sale of cocaine. Which yeah! Is the devil's dandruff there for <laughs> recreational use, all in an attempt to uh, make the country's rampant use of the drug a little safer. The proposal comes as countries and the United States change their approach so that the so-called war on drugs and policies, including the legal recreational use of marijuana. Those in favor actually argue that legalization allows greater control over the market and safer usage. Some of European companies, like Spain, uh, Italy, even Portugal, no longer actually issue prison sentences for drug possession charges, including the full game, man. Say it on my little friend, man. Uh, so the uh, Swiss proposal would actually make it the uh, white powder actually legal for recreational use. Radical step in a new drug policy if it's approved. Something called Adderall, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you crunch up Adderall and you do enough, it's pretty much cocaine. Is it really? I mean, it's this, it's a, uh, uh, let's go to our expert. What's it called? A class what, Matt? Uh, class, class, class C. Class C, C, class C, yeah, C, class C uh, uh, narcotic. I mean, I mean, it is. So what's the difference? I mean, we look at uh, Adderall uh, prescriptions have mm -hmm. gone up like 
exponentially. exponentially yeah. And you know, and how far away is that? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not no, saying it's, it's start argument. doing the cocaine. Yeah. I'm just saying there's not that far away, but it's prescribed still. Yeah, but I think if you look at Oregon, for example, that that state has completely fallen into disarray because they've legalized <laughs> nearly every possible drug okay. and they welcome homelessness and all of these things, and they're finding that now they're sort of too far down the rabbit hole and they don't know how to fix it. So I think a lot of people question whether legalizing this is sort of, you know, opening up that rabbit hole. And once you go down and if it becomes a problem, how do you then fix it? The I guess the example would be Amsterdam. I think pretty yes. much everything is legal there. I mean, like That's almost, true. almost everything. <laughs> Uh, and then um, and where you can get needles and, uh -huh. and that sort of thing. So, I mean, and again, I think now that it's in the, uh, basically, people look at marijuana differently than mm -hmm. they did. Uh, I think people are, I think this is just another way that's actually going to make people think of cocaine in different But they're going to get a lot done. They're going to have some that's, great that's exports. Well, they, they could, sure. If it's not clean already, it'll be extra clean by that's, the time they're but on the, <laughs> And on the Swiss Army knives, they started adding a little uh, credit card <laughs> uh, to pop out so you can get it all. And then, you know, there you go. a little tiny, yes. little tiny spoon. Uh, well, one of the UK's biggest lottery winners burned through $50 million in eight years, splurging on uh, soccer team, racehorses, extravagant cars, before his luck completely ran out. Colin Weir spent a stunning $131,000 per week after winning a record-breaking 257 million euro jackpot. Some of his spending spree included a 55% share in Glasgow's Partrick Thistle football team, mm -hmm. a vintage car collection, a $6 million home. He's wow. spent millions more to renovate and three prize racing thoroughbreds. However, the lottery curse reared its head in 2018 when the former TV cameraman divorced his wife after nearly four decades of marriage and she took much of his fortune, what was <laughs> left of it. Weir died a year later in 2019 of sepsis following kidney failure. Goodness. Well, I guess he lived big while he had the money. Um, you know, and would you do that? Would, would, you know, and first off, you have to respect money. Yes. You know, I hear this. This story is not new. Mm -mm. I mean, you, you get a lot of money. You don't know how to really handle, handle it. it. And you, you, it, it was given to you, so you didn't really work for it. And so you don't really have that yeah. much respect for it. And it goes by really quick. And it's sad, actually. Yeah, and it happens to more lottery winners than, than than not. I mean, you'd think that it would come with maybe a lawyer or a legal accounting team or somebody to kind of help guide you once you make all of that money, much like a lot of the professional athletes. You know, That's for a, point, a long yeah. time, they never had any kind of guidance. And so many of them ended up broke and homeless. And now they've got a lot of people in place to help them better manage their millions of dollars. You know, it seems like, yeah, that could be a business mm -hmm. altogether. Uh, yeah. It's just getting the people that win to, before they even claim it, to do all of the, the pre-work that's going to need to the be done. Homework, yeah, right. The homework, right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, and it, it, you know, we always want to see a success story like that. Yeah. But it, I think it just goes back again, as I mentioned. Yep. It, it, you don't appreciate things if they're given to you. Exactly. Much, so. Well, serial world record breaker David Rush added another title to his name. Yes, he did, by sorting peanut M&Ms by color in 1 minute and 14 seconds. All right. Rush, who holds more than 250 Guinness World Record titles, took on the record for the fastest time to sort 500 grams of peanut M&Ms. The record-breaking enthusiast said it took him 16 tries to achieve a time of 1 minute 14 seconds, besting the previous record of 1 minute 18 seconds. So guess what we're yeah. doing here? Matt and Mitch will attempt the Daily Flash peanut M&Ms sorting These, record. So so uh, we, we went through, we realized that the peanut M&Ms are a little harder to kind of pull out. No. And I'm used to my pill box oh. you know, taking pills out. And so uh, That's I That's about right for you. I, I asked it, yeah, actually, yeah. I asked the judges if I could, we could use plain M and M's. Okay. Just because they're that more pill like. All right. So the key, uh, to, real quick, the rules are what? You've got to sort them by their color. Okay, and, and just and, basically and just put them in. Yeah. All right, so okay. put them in that, and uh, we're ready. Uh, and you'll and tell on, us when to go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. On your marks. Get set. Go. All right. So I'll do what I do with my normal ones. I'll just yeah. Okay. Mitch has got. Uh, yeah, blue, he's going blue. for the blues. Uh, Matt is Remember, sorting blues? some yellows. Relatively new. Uh, yeah. Blue is relatively new. <laughs> do you know what color they ended up discontinuing Was to it? bring in the blue? What's that? The tan. Oh, yeah. The tan. Remember the tan? Right. Oh, Matt is, Matt is oh, cooking wow. they're not, there. They're not in the commercials. Guy. I don't know which ones they are. It's like Connect Four with M&M's over there. My <laughs> Pretty goodness. sneaky, sis. Yes. Matt right. is kicking butt. Oh, Mitch, you've got, okay, you've got a good... 
Right. You've got a good uh, second going. I like All right. it. Okay. We're, we're at 32 we at? seconds 32? right now. Right. You guys are doing very good. Yeah. I'm trying different All strategies. Right. Mitch has got the uh, <laughs> the fist strategy. Matt is doing the fingertip yeah. strategy. Uh, you know, I'm always here. fascinated yes. when I hear, remember myself that J.K. Simmons is the yellow M&M. Oh, that's right. On the commercial. Oh, oh I'm waiting for it. Really? Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. We're at 50 seconds. Okay, so we got 10 seconds left. We've got to, uh, 10 seconds left okay. if you guys want to try and even best the record. Okay, which yeah, uh, uh, I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near. All right, them we're all at up. one minute. One minute. All right, one that's minute. it. That's, that call it. All time. right, that's it. Who one looks, minute. Right. Okay. These are not qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, you yours look good. Is nice, man. Right? I, it's like he's spelling something over I, there. I do this at home. I don't really have a lot to do. So I, this he's is been actually practicing a hobby. all weekend. For and, this. and really quick, if you close your eyes and do this, it's all for real. And it says, <laughs> we'll be back with more Daily Flash right after this. And they're good to eat. Yeah. Right? The blue one. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. The Oscars are going to take place the second Sunday in March. Yes, it is the final big award show for the season and our very own Hollywood insider Steve Helling joining us now to dish on the nominees, who he thinks will win, yeah. yes. who should win, and who got snubbed. First off, Steve, welcome back to the big show. Let's talk yes. about uh, some of the Best Picture nominees. This yes, is what everybody absolutely. wants. Let's get to the meat of it. Yeah, Let's we've got it. the list here, Mitch, okay. so we're going to run down the list. You start with right, the first American five. American Fiction, which Jackson, you can't stop talking about I this movie. I love this yeah, movie so, so much. I'm really looking forward yeah. to it. Uh, Anatomy of a Fall, yep. Barbie, The Holdovers, and Killers of the Flower Moon, which actually, if you went to go well, watch this movie, it's still playing right now. Yes, it is. Because it is the longest movie we've <laughs> seen. Uh, the other, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest Don't round out the top 10 Best Picture nominations. So, let's start with the odds-on favorite, Oppenheimer. What do yeah. you think, Steve? I, I think it will probably end up winning. It's been getting all these other awards um you know and frankly you can't beat the all-star cast and, yeah. and and oscar voters love that so i think that i think that i don't necessarily feel like that was the best movie of the year but i think it's the one that will it, it got a lot of buzz by all means and i think of this nostalgia of it and then uh, robert downey jr i think also mm -hmm. getting some nods for that right. so very interesting killian murphy Killian, yes christopher yeah. nolan as the director uh so i think he will probably win as director and i think killian murphy yeah. win as actor it had to do well because if it wasn't it would be in a bomb in the box office yeah <laughs> <laughs> It had, I mean, that, that's a lot of, that's there's a lot, a lot of, on the line when you do a movie about Oppenheimer, right? Uh, okay, one of my favorites this year, and this was a surprise to me, American Fiction with Jeffrey Wright. I think that is the better movie. I love I really this movie do. so much. Um, yeah, I think it's the better movie. I don't think it will win. I think it didn't get the, it didn't have the buzz that yes. the other did. Um, but I think um, it's one that I would recommend if I wanted to say what my best movies <coughs> of the year are, that's one of them. It's such so. a sleeper too, because you don't really know much going into it, and it's like such it. a surprise when you watch it. All right, I like that. And you, yeah, like I said, I know you yeah. love this movie. Yeah. It, it just came out, I mean, here we are, we're in February, but it just came out like recently too. In theaters, which is, yeah. Just to get, and right. they obviously got nominated, but Probably had a limited release. Yeah, yeah, in December. All right, they're saying it's an important movie to watch. I've actually <laughs> heard people say this, but Barbie, lots of buzz around Barbie. Is it an Oscar contender for Best Picture, though? I think it's an honor to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it really is. Like, it, it, it was a really well done movie. It's don't cute. get me wrong. Yeah, it's cute. It's, it's, cute. it's everything, and it has a message to it. But I don't think um, you can really compare that with an Oppenheimer. No. You just can't. It, yeah. It's fun. And, and Ryan Gosling getting a Best Actor nod and people yeah. outraged that, um, uh, um, why am I drawing a blank oh, on her name? Oh, okay. um, Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Margot, Margot Robbie did yeah. not get nominated. Yeah. I, I'm surprised that he even got a nomination. Well, which is interesting because both the Oscar statue and Ken are both eunuchs. So yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting to watch them carry that. Uh, Bradley Cooper actually turned in a performance. Mm -hmm. His nose, uh, I, I'm surprised, didn't get nominated <laughs> behind Maestro. But you're actually really, really not that far to actually take on that much hardware. Actually. Well, actually, there is a controversy behind it. You know, the nose, the prosthetic yeah, nose. Right. Um, you know, there's talk about whether they should have hired a Jewish actor. Right. So I think that a lot of times when there's a little bit of controversy that stirs around like that, it really does affect during award season, whether, you know, people want to vote for that or not. I think he did a great job. Oh, I, think I, I mean, you know, um, Bradley Cooper, 
has shown that he is a versatile actor and he really does a good job. I feel like he's like a Robert Redford or a Robert De Niro or mm -hmm. um, even a Cary Grant and that they're constantly getting nominated but they never win because they're right. so talented at what they do. Uh, and I am sorry for my ignorance. Didn't he direct our... He directed okay, it too. Directed it too. Yeah. So not only did he star in it and he helped write the screenplay but he also directed yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, what about the nearly four hour movie from Martin Scorsese, Killers of the Flower Moon? So. Of all ten, that's the one that I have yet to see. Okay. And the reason why I have yet to see it is time. that <laughs> it's not the time. It's just I really have to psych myself up yes. to go into a movie that's more than... It, when we get to three hours, I mean, you know... Yeah. I, uh, you know, back in our day, it would have two videos at, at yeah, Blockbuster. Right, right. Uh, and I just... It, it's like... You know, I have just finally gotten myself to being able to watch a whole movie without looking at my phone. I just don't know if I can do it for four hours. It, it, you know, it's interesting, out of all of these uh, these movies, you got Oppenheimer based on True Story, mm -hmm. uh, Flower Moon as well, uh, true, uh, true Story. Barbie. Barbie, yeah. True Story, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was going to say that, but there's a there's a life behind it, right? Yeah. As well as uh, uh, the, uh, 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 Leonard Bernstein. Yeah. Yes. About it. So it's interesting to see all like these true stories. I think that's what America wants. I right. I have to say, I was on the same page with you. I wasn't even going to watch it, but then it came to Apple TV, yes. and we were looking right. for something to watch, and I'm like, okay, I'll start it, but I don't think I'll finish it. And I got completely sucked in. Yeah. Uh, so well, I that's what say, I've heard. And, I, I, it yeah. went by fast. And I, I got to tell you this, though. I, I think it's, I, I, you know, we were joking about important movies. I think it's an important movie because yes. it was denied oh, by history. A lot yes. of people don't know these. And, and then you hear what happened and how regular, and I lived in Oklahoma, I didn't okay. know about that. And, and, yeah. you know, and I'm like, wow, you yeah. know, and this really happened. And it, it, it got, a, I think there was a lot of discussion afterwards. Right. And yeah. if a movie can do that, I think it really helps out. Well, I, I think it certainly deserves the nomination and maybe it deserves the win. I, 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 okay. I, I'll that let would you know. Be an upset, I'll let you know, it? yeah. That was, okay, that was my question. So do you think, is that your pick? Would you say? No, my, my, my pick is Oppenheimer. Yeah. I mean, I, okay. it's my pick. Any any snubs? Any upsets? Um, you know, not really. I mean, I thought May December might be nominated. It was such a good it movie. It was a good movie. Um, yeah. You know, but I understand why it wasn't. I think there's still a little bit of a stigma of oh, that was really a streaming movie. That was, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you think if uh, this movie, let's say uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, and another, a lot of these movies are, are going longer. Do you think this is going to be a trend? Because people aren't really going to theaters anymore. God, I theaters hope not. hate these long movies. Um, and I hope it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, agree. Oh I have things to do. Yeah. No, um, no. I, I think that uh, I think you really have to have something to say for a okay. movie to be that long. Yeah. Uh, don't be four hours just to be four hours. Definitely. I, I always say when those movies go on like that, it's like, well, it, you know, the the charm of every movie is in the editing, and you mm -hmm. almost, like, and if yeah. you can't go four hours, apparently you don't have a good editor, is my opinion. You know, <laughs> Steve, thank you. Yes, always thank so, you. Good so good to, to be here. You. The Oscars will be held on March 10th. Where can people find you, Steve? They can find me on Instagram. That's the best place. Steve Helling. They can find me on Twitter. Steve Helling. I, I, I'm not very... It's Steve Helling. It just looks for Steve. Google me. It's yeah. fine. And, and simply stevehelling.com. I yes. asked him for his email last night, which was dumb of me. <laughs> Steve at stevehelling.com. <laughs> exactly. exactly. All right. We'll be back with more. Welcome back to Daily Flash. I am Matt Doolittle, and we are doing it in the world of VR and AR. The names change every week, but we're diving in to the world of the first adapters and the release of the Apple Vision Pro. Now, this first thing, the first thing, of course, the price. That might keep a few folks from jumping into the world of the Vision Pro with a starting price of $3,500. The fact that you can have to walk around with an attached battery pack and that a lot of apps haven't even been released for it yet. So that's a lot of money to not have a lot going on. However, at a rumored 200,000 of these sold in the first 10 days, I think that it's on its way to being a must have, wouldn't you think? So some people have already been giving this a test around their house, how some of the apps already are in effect with their TVs and work with them and work with their refrigerators, some of them. Now, this could help you out with your work at home or your office if you're so inclined. And the initial reaction is that a lot of the queasiness or eye fatigue you may have had in the Oculus, like I did, and other versions of the VR thing could you know, this could take care of it. Now, if you're a kid from the 90s, you remember the first version of this, and it's a relic from Nintendo. Those were the good old days of playing at Sears and just playing it for free. My dad never got me that, but that wasn't much of a success. And I've had the Oculus for about two years now, 
And I can honestly say I haven't even turned it on in six months. We thought coming out of the pandemic era, these devices were going to be the norm at home, but Apple may have tapped into something here. Look at what these folks are already using it for. Yes, aimlessly walking through the streets, trusting this device, I've nearly hit people crossing the street on their cell phones and nearly been hit myself. So that's probably not the best idea. But sure, this is fine, that's fine. You know, taking it to your favorite sporting event too. Homeboy is really wearing it in the front row of a Celtics game. Of course he's in the front row, that's how he could afford them. Now, right off the bat, people are using this for some of the dumbest stuff. Check this guy out. This looks absolutely safe, right? Nothing to see here, let the car drive itself while you wear the visor and completely trust everything when my phone randomly restarts every once in a while. At least at the end of this, the cops show up and he says online, oh, I set this up, but eh, I don't know. I think this looks pretty legit. I'm all for these. I see the applications for teaching, doctors, architecture, and some bit of entertainment. Y'all know the responsible users, right? But do we need it? Let me ask you, don't most of us on this crew have Apple Watches, phones, earbuds, and Apple TVs? So they've already integrated into our everyday life. But let's all be honest, we're human. What does this turn into? Obviously the scene from Wally. Who am I kidding? I'm buying, I'm putting it on a playment pan after my wedding. Maybe I'll put it on the, the registry and I'll be doing it in the virtual world with the rest of you. And you all know what that means because you've already done it in the virtual world, guys. Fabio Marcano from Daily Flush Latino joins us now for our relationship refresh. Fabian, yes. welcome. Hi, guys. What um, are we talking about today, Bubba? Well, let's talk about divorce. Everybody okay. knows Ooh. divorce is super hard, and it's not only hard on the parents, it's also hard on the children. Yes. There's an alternative, though. Okay. Instead of the parents moving away into different homes and then children have to jump from house to house, sure. yeah. mm -hmm. why don't they leave the original house that they bought as a family together and they move to different apartments, and then they can share the house. One week, one parent, one week, the other. Oh, Aww, you know, um, it, it, yeah, I know somebody is actually doing this. Uh, really? And so, yeah, and uh, they, the, when it, and it came out of, well, when they were separated, they wound up getting their own place. And then now they, they do that sort of thing. And it, it, it's so far, it seems to work. It's a fresh new into the divorce. It's not actually all gone through yet, but it, apparently it's enough to work. And it makes the kids feel more comfortable. Exactly. I what I was thinking, it, it might preserve the, the state of mind, at least, yeah. or their home for the kids that they grew up in. You know, you, they don't have to move out from where they grew up That's in. That's a good point. So does that mean that both ex-spouses have their own their own? They place, would have their yes. own home. And yeah. then when They're they the get one. the... the, the kids privilege weekend or week, then they come to the house exactly. and they, oh. You wouldn't exactly. have to change the address. I can tell you, having yeah. uh, you know a bonus son, that you know, he has, has two sets of clothes, um, and, and when I was traveling a lot, there's, you know, you, you never feel like, if you're only in a place maybe one day a week, two mm -hmm. days a week, or whatever, you don't feel like you're, you're, you're anchored or whatever. And I always feel bad about that for him. So I can see how this could be a great solution. I have a friend that did it, and I mean, it worked out for him. I have another friend that the, the wife just said no. It's so, not gonna happen. I mean, I, it could go either way, guys, but it's something new to try, I and mean, why do, not, right? Do you think it matters how old the children are? Do I think, think it does, yeah. I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a big difference. And you know, I think maybe, I, I think this is a great conversation actually to have before you get married. And, yes. And because, I mean, even if you say, hey look, you know, if we don't get along, I don't wanna get divorced again, <laughs> you know, or whatever. How I mean, are we gonna manage how it? How is this gonna work mm -hmm. out? God forbid, you, you do that with wills? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, why wouldn't you do that at the death of a marriage as well? I think it's a great idea. You spend but, more time planning and spending money on a wedding than you do understanding the ramifications if things don't work out. It makes complete It costs you just as much if not ahead. more. That's right. Yeah. Always <laughs> plan ahead. Fabian Marcano, thank you so much for joining us. Always good stuff here. Remember, you can catch Fabian mm -hmm. on Daily Flash Latino. You can head to dailyflashlatino.com to check your local listings and time. We got more Daily Flash coming up right after this. If you go anywhere, you're going to miss out on it. And, and we don't want you to have to jump house to house either. No. So just keep it in this house. <laughs> miss a minute. Miss a lot. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> this is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. 
everybody. I am Mitch English. And I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. I'm walking out of the house today, and uh, the wife says, you look, you look like Indiana Jones. Oh, you kind so, of do. So I want to get uh, a fedora. Yeah. Be kind of nice. I don't know. And I you need a, a, uh, one of those whips. A whips would be good. Yeah. Uh, can can yeah. I borrow yours? Sure. <laughs> sure, I think I've got it in the car. All right. She keeps it everywhere, so be Side careful hustle. about that. Uh, sometimes I like to go rando, okay? Uh, no, have you ever, I'm going rando right now. I love now. it, okay. Uh, have you ever heard of a kidney transplant? Know anybody that's ever had a kidney transplant? No, but, okay. but no. It's uh, very common. Yes. I found this out, and I just thought this was interesting. You know, when they do a kidney transplant, you think, oh, they take out one, they put another one in. Yeah. They don't normally. What they'll do is they'll take the kidney, the donate, donated kidney, and they'll uh, put it in by the pelvis. So you actually have three kidneys during this operation. So if you know anybody, that, with, it's, there's, it's more popular than you think, where they don't take it out altogether. So you keep oh, the, 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 the bad, bad kidney, kidney as well as get a new one, but it's down by the pelvis now. Kidney cubed. Ki kidney cubed, exactly, yeah. <laughs> So uh, if you know somebody uh, that had a kidney transplant, just know they have more body organs than you do. You are kidney me. You I like, like that? that. It was really clever of you. Very good. Nice work. Thank you. English. Thank you. Uh, well, the capital of Switzerland is considering a pilot program to test the legal sale of cocaine for recreational use in an attempt to make the country's rampant use of the drug safer. The proposal comes as more countries in the U.S. change their approach to the so-called war on drugs with policies including the legal recreational use of marijuana. Those in favor argue that legalization allows for greater control over the market and safer usage. Several European countries like Spain, Italy, and Portugal no longer issue prison sentences for drug possession charges, including cocaine, but the Swiss proposal would be the first to make the white powder legal for recreational use. It's a radical step in a new drug policy if it is, in fact, approved. Still, many are wary of legalizing cocaine, which can be highly addictive and even deadly. Okay, and well, you know, you wonder where you're thinking yeah. about about this. Yeah. How, how is this going to go? And a lot of it is, uh, you can understand it. Um, every, and the first thing people are going to say is taxes. If you, could t if you can tax it, yeah. we think here in the United States, if you could tax it, make it some money. Matt, what, what kind of drug are you on right now, by the way? All of them. You're on all, all of them. them. You're on straight ecstasy. I just, got, I just got back from Mexico, so I, I just took oh, everything. So we went to the <laughs> pharmacia. Yeah. Yes. See. He's, you, you know, right at the airport, right before you leave. It's like Vegas. They've got the slot machines, yeah, yeah. but in Mexico, they've got the pharmacies. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just yeah. told us, don't go over to that side of the street if you want to come home. It makes a lot of With sense. With all your sure, kidneys. Of course. It makes a lot of sense. So anyway, um, you know, and so we hear, we see in the United States, I think there was a day that people thought, no way in the world that uh, marijuana, marijuana, marijuana yeah. would be. I, I kind of understand where they're coming for this, and I think what maybe they're going after is drug dealers, because if you think about it, if, if the market is is available why anyway, why would yeah. you need, you know, and then the, the laws would be changed and everything, but uh, they're, they're a very lenient country, though, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't I you think? think so overall, but, I, you know, I think there is a fair argument to be made with regard to health and safety, I mean, because it is a highly addictive drug, as, well, as many are. Would so. you think that, it's, since it's going to be regulated by the government, that it would be maybe less so because... I think the question to ask is, if you say it's regulated by the government, does that make it any better, any safer? That's true. A any more usable or easy or justifiable? Well, look at our foods, right? I mean, yes. you know, they say, well, let's regulate our foods. And for, for the most part, I imagine that you know, yeah. it could be as such, but there's so many bad things that go into our food no matter what. You kind of wonder how yeah. well will it be regulated? Again, we're talking about the United States. Could be different. Right? I think about Oregon though, and the mess that that state has become by legalizing nearly every and, single drug, and it is now a cesspool of crime and homelessness, uh, homelessness, no, and, really, yeah. and what they call the zombie apocalypse, which is happening with these people dying on the streets and from fentanyl and whatnot. All right, and I think somebody we have zombies I walking on top do. of our <laughs> roof right now too. It's kind of odd, right there. All right, we got more flash coming up right around the corner. You don't want it to uh, go anywhere. We got the trendy <laughs> news and entertainment that's coming your way. So stick around for that. You got Mitch Angles, you got Andrea Jackson, you got my buddy Matt yeah. Little. We got us a party going on we here, right? Do. We're talking to Gator. <gasps> Gator for Gator. You're going to love this. Home improvement. This tips. guy's cool. This is Tim. Tim is all about time. And if you've ever had a chance to look into Tim's cold, dead eyes, you'll see that it's time for you to follow us on social media. Sure, there's 10,000 social sites out there, and we don't have the time to name them all. Seriously, just ask Tim. So take the time to look for Daily Flash TV on your favorite social sites and start following us. That's all the time, Tim. Goodbye. Hey, do you seem to actually get sick every time you fly? Well, you're not the only one. Dr. Ken Redcross joins us to share his savviest tips on how to stay healthy on your next flight. It's all in our Dr. Ken Redcross to the Rescue Health Minute.
Choose your seat carefully on your next flight to minimize your exposure to flu. Pick a window seat that is close to the front or back of the aircraft. Why? Germs are spread through human activity and movement, and a study observed that people in these areas had the least amount of contact with other passengers. Traveling can be hectic, and airplanes are very dry, so it's easy to forget to drink enough water. Alcoholic drinks will further contribute to dehydration. Ask for water any time the beverage cart comes by. Drink at least four to eight ounces of water for every hour in the air. Hand washing reduces the number of germs on your hands and prevents them from spreading to your eyes, nose, and mouth. If you're too far from a sink or want to avoid the airplane laboratory, hand sanitizer is a good second choice. It should be at least 60% alcohol to be effective. Pack smart with a flu reliever like Oscillococcinum by Boron. This homeopathic medicine works best when taken at the first sign of flu-like symptoms such as body aches, headache, fever, chills, and fatigue. No water is necessary as the sweet tasting pellets simply melt under the tongue. The TSA friendly individual doses are compact and can be tucked away in your carry-on. Even if you practice the best hygiene, the flu will always remain a travel hazard. If you do find yourself sick with symptoms of a flu-like illness, stay home until you are fever free for at least 24 hours. I'm Ken Redcross with your Dr. Redcross to the Rescue Health Minute. Spring is in the air and we are talking all the latest and greatest things that are putting a spring in our step. Joining us with the scoop is lifestyle editor Joanne Butler. Welcome Joanne. Oh, hi, thanks for having me. Let's start Starbucks, you know? Something about going there just puts me in a happy mood anyway, but now they're making it even better for spring. Uh, celebrating big time with two new lavender flavored drinks. This is the lavender cream matcha and lavender latte. They're both made with oat milk, super delicious and creamy. This is the matcha, look how beautiful it is. It's topped with this lavender cream cold foam. I love it, I love it. I love the latte too. They make that with the blonde espresso. Uh, every sip just puts me in a spring state of mind. Uh, plus, I have all this cool new spring merch, cups and tumblers. And these are designed by Atlanta artist Shay Anthony, um, actually to honor Women's History Month, which is also this month. Uh, all of this stuff is a limited time, though, while they last. So hurry on in there. And, you know, nothing puts a spring in your step quite like a good hair day, especially this time of year when we're itching for a refresh for spring. Uh, well, Pantene, truly a luxury hair brand, uh, but without the luxury price tag. And they've just launched another amazing new shampoo and conditioning duo right at Target, the Pro V Miracles Infinite Lengths and the Miracle Rescue Deep Repair Conditioner. The true star of the show is the conditioner. It has these like melting Pro V pearls that actually melt directly into your hair strands. And then they swell up and release nutrients into the conditioner. It's totally amazing. Repair six months of damage, but without weighing it down so you can use it every day. And it just leaves your hair really strong and healthy looking from the inside out. That's what it's all about. And I love to use it with the shampoo too. It's packed with biotin and collagen, and it leaves you uh, with up to 90% less hair breakage and just really stands up to environmental stressors and heat styling, things you don't even realize that really affect our hair, especially from the winter and all the harsh weather uh, as we head into spring. It's the best. Um, and also, these work as well as their $60 competitors out there, but again, you can get them right at Target for less than 13 bucks each. And you know, you can do a lot with those savings too, like buy more things at Target or buy more Starbucks lattes or this cool new gear. Uh, and there you have it. Happy spring. Get out there. March is National Craft Month and teachers now have a new tool available for their classroom to customize and personalize their space. Get inspired and teach along the way. Here's more. Crafting can be a powerful education tool, and for teachers, Cricut Joy Extra takes crafting to a whole new level. This compact, smart cutting machine can help you design and personalize almost anything. Students can learn basic design by using the Cricut Design Space app, and with the help of an adult, create intricate model parts and much more. Teachers can use the teacher portal to share designs and ideas. Visit Cricut.com. What is KSA Entertainment? It's trending news, entertainment, lifestyle, KSA Entertainment, culture, KSA. it's love, it's food, it's family, KSA. it's life, it's shopping, it's empowerment, KSA. KSA Entertainment, it's fitness, it's travel, KSA, it's fun, it's engaging, it's Daily Flash, Daily Flash Latino, life, love, shopping. This is KSA Entertainment.
All right, spring is in the air, and with it comes the excitement of refreshing our homes and entertaining in style. Television host and lifestyle expert Marissa Brodney joins us with insights into convenient meal options and advice on creating inviting outdoor spaces. I'm Marissa Brainy with some spring entertaining tips to make your events stylish and effortless. And we start with our menu, a real time saver here. Tata Rasa has authentic, crafted, Indian ready to eat meals. These are made without any artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, and they're made with authentic flavors, spices, and sauces. They're available on Amazon. Delicious, impressive, and convenient. Thinking about your outdoor space, patio furniture is key. And you want to shop big lots for unbeatable prices for quality, durable, stylish patio sets, like this one from Broy Hill. Beautiful patio chairs, the East Lake Wicker set, gorgeous. And how about the those pops of color in the pillows. Don't forget to bring in those pops of trending items. Pillows are great to do it, as well as textures like this patio drum we have here, bringing in that hammered bronze. All of this info can be found on my website. It's marissabrainy.com. A new season is here, and it's time to dust off winter, renew, and recharge. We have digital lifestyle expert Mario Armstrong here. Hey Mario, so what are some great ideas that can help us swing into spring? Hey there, well thanks for having me on the Daily Flash. And yeah, I've partnered with some great brands that will help us spring into the season. I'm so ready. Starting with home improvements. Something we need to think about is backup power for our homes, especially with the storms and interruptions. So the Anchor Solix F3800 portable power station can be used as a home power backup system or power your entire home. You can pair it with Anchor's home power panel and get automatic use from 12 of your home circuits. If you have solar panels, it can store excess energy during the day for use at night, and it can provide power for your EVs and RVs too. Now, if you're celebrating Easter, something fun you can add to the kids' baskets is a Tony Box. It's a screen-free audio system designed for little ones ages three to seven. You turn it on, pop a Tony on top, and let the audio adventure begin. Your kids will have a blast choosing from hundreds of Tony's figurines from favorites like Blippi, Sesame Street, Disney, and more. Each Tony figurine prompts imaginative play with songs, stories, and lessons in friendship, problem-solving, mindfulness, and more. Look, it's fun, educational, no screens, and really easy to use. Now, if you're looking for a couple of simple ways to add smart home products to your routine, streamline your daily life with some products from Roku. Their colored smart light bulbs have 16 million color options to control your home lighting from the Roku device and app. You can schedule sunrise wake up lighting, that's pretty cool, or set the mood to any color anytime. And the Roku Smart Home Indoor Camera SE enables you to watch your home. It has HD quality, vibrant color night vision, motion and sound detection, and it can detect smoke or carbon monoxide, sending you alerts for any emergencies. Okay, now for the guys, let's end with refreshing our personal care this spring. We gotta spring into it and take care of ourselves with Old Spice shampoos crafted to help make men's hair look fuller, healthier, and more moisturized. They are blended with the perfect mix of cleansing and conditioning ingredients for men's hair. Old Spice Swagger shampoos can be used daily and remove built up dirt and oil to help guys achieve that clean and confident look. You will smell shockingly self-assured and your hair will feel soft, look thicker, and be healthier. Those are some great ideas, Mario. Where can we go for more information? Uh, for sure, your viewers can head right over to inthenews.tv for all the info and links. Thanks, Mario. We'll have that on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Thank you and have a great spring. Fantastic stuff. Of course, more details on our website. We have so much more trending news and entertainment that's in your way. But first, let's check in with our friends at Daily Buzz right here on Daily Flash. BBC. Spring means out with the old and in with the new. So Queer Eyes Fashion Guy is revealing what's on trend. Oversized suiting. It is one of the hot trends of the season and it's one of my favorites. And so forget those stem suits. It's all about oversized. But Sheer is the thing of the season, and if you don't have the confidence to go fully sheer, which I don't, I wear sheer items under suiting, under jackets. 
even if you're wearing a dress and you just want a sheer top underneath, at least you're showing sheer sleeves. But staying on trend with budget and time constraints is difficult. City Shop browser extension is the thing. It takes only a few minutes to access and then you are getting access to literally thousands of merchants. And so every time you shop, you know you're getting the best deal. You can use it on your um, desktop, you can use it on your mobile phone. And so finding those trends could not be easier. Go to city.com slash city shop for more info. Gardening bloomed in popularity as food costs rose and young folks moved to the burbs, but you can't plant anywhere. In ground obviously gives you an opportunity to have more variety of plants because you have more space. Raised bed gardening, the pro here is that you can control the quality of the soil. So that equals less pest and less weeds. And then a container garden uh, is for someone who's really restricted on space typically. Think about a patio, um, a front porch, or someone who may be looking for maybe not a lot of plants, they just want one or two, uh, this is perfect for them. So which plant gives you the best bang for your buck? I love tomatoes. Not only are there a lot of different varieties of the tomato plant, but you can do so much with it. Salsa, sauces, or tomato sandwich. The good thing also, depending on the health of your plant, you're looking at roughly 20 to 90 tomatoes throughout the growing season. And no, no better way to help on the grocery bill this spring uh, than choosing the tomato plant to grow. Go to tractorsupply.com for more. We all want what's best for our pets and annual checkups and vaccinations are crucial for their longevity. I want to talk about the Vetco vaccination clinics. They have vaccine packages that are grouped by age and they're grouped by lifestyle for your pet. And through June 30th, new pets to Vetco Total Care Hospitals, they can receive their first routine checkup for free. And pets' nutritional needs change as they age. Puppies and kittens, they can really benefit from a specific formulation because they're focused on that growth and we're focused on development. The older, more mature pets, they have different dietary needs and sensitivities. So that might require a switch to a food that maybe it's more focused on weight management or food with limited ingredients. They may benefit from joint and fatty supplements as well that will help their mobility, joints, their skin, and their coat health. And professional training can help navigate behavioral changes they may experience as they enter new life stages. Go to Petco.com for more. Follow the Daily Buzz on social media. February is National Dental Health Month for pets. It's actually a common issue, but there are ways to help prevent it. Here is Dr. Angie Krause, along with a few furry friends to talk about how we can actually take care of our pets' dental health. Hey there, Dr. Krause. I'm Dr. Angie Krause. I'm a holistic veterinarian, and February is Pet Dental Health Month. And I'm here to give you some tips to help be your pet's best dental advocate. Now, dental disease is more than ugly tartar and smelly breath. Cats and dogs with untreated dental disease can have severe and chronic pain. And unfortunately, they will never tell you that they hurt. They will continue to eat and drink and play as they normally would, all while living with pain that would send us to the dentist after hours. Your pet's dental health can affect other organs. Untreated dental disease can cause bacteria and inflammation under the gums to seed into the bloodstream, making its way to the heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. And those are important organs. So when you invest in your pet's dental health, you are investing in their overall health. Now, I would love everyone to be brushing their pet's teeth every day, but I know that's not realistic for everybody and for every pet. So what I'd like you to do is once a week, just take a look in your pet's mouth, just lift up the gum, and look for any signs of dental disease like tartar and inflammation at the gum line or anything that doesn't look quite right you can report to your veterinarian. And then I like to pair that with a dental treat like Stella and Chewy's Dental Delights. These have nubs and ridges that will help clean tartar and calculus off your pet's teeth. It also has parsley and peppermint to freshen their breath.
You can find these at StellaAndChewy's.com forward slash Dental Delights. They are sold at online retailers and you can find them at your local pet food stores. Well, from all of us, thank you for spending time with us. For more information on any of today's stories, be sure to visit dailyflashshow.com. Believe it or not, we love this so much, we're going to do it and just, uh, well, how about on Monday? You Let's do it? do it. I think so. I think so. We had such a great time. Thank you all for joining <laughs> us. Y'all take care. We will see you when we look at you. Be good or good at it. Right, Maddie? Right. Yeah. Good stuff. High five. High five. Woo. Nice. Nice.